Yes. Mm-hmm. This 1968 Act of legislation, you know, the right to petition for a new trial on the basis of newly discovered evidence or fraud. Yeah. The time within uh, which the accused may petition was extended from one to two years. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, a significant new due process right. Uh, fraud on the court. Yes. Lack of jurisdiction. Uh-huh. Uh, or error. Uh-huh. Error. Uh-huh. Uh, prejudicial to the substantive rights of the accused. Page 249. Mm-hmm. The last ground, error prejudicial to the substantive rights of the accused is important. For this now means that for the first time a person convicted in a special court martial uh, did not ha- did not receive a bad conduct discharge. Now, a revised edition of the Manual for Court Martial came into being in late 1969. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, I shouldn't have to contact the military about the enforcing of the civil rights of American citizens, but I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Because you as a sheriff's department wouldn't listen. Mm -hmm. You as a police department had decided that you make up uh, bullshit crimes that it didn't commit. Yes. Then you'd have me admitted to Western State Hospital for a mental illness that I don't have, for restoration that I don't need. Ouch. That way you could cover up all your crimes and you never go to prison. Yes. For uh, violating the rights of American citizens. Yes. Now, uh, obtain through deception, undercover officer. Yeah. Let's go back to this Posse Comitas Act where sheriffs and police departments say the military can't be involved. Ouch. When a citizen uh-huh, contacts the military and the citizen provides the evidence of violating the civil rights of the citizen and his family, yes, um, there is an obligation on the part of the military to support and defend the Constitution as well as the Bill of Rights, yes. Now, for all of those that enlisted, yes, that said, I would defend the Constitution. Yeah. So help me God, pooch. Any knowledge of the crime of this county, Jefferson County, or every state of the United States? Yes. The military's liable for that, pooch. Now, um, I know that you said they can't be involved, but I'm the citizen that did involve them. See, they never emailed me and said, Paul, how are things going? How are you feeling? How's your Christmas going? Yes. They never did that. Pooch. I found their email addresses online. I emailed every division of the Criminal Investigative Division of the United States Army, uh, uh, Judge Advocate General's Corps, yes, and I emailed them all of the documentation of all of your crimes, yes. Now then, for them to allow me to go to Western State Hospital when they know of this fraud, pooch, doesn't look good on the part of the United States Army. It really doesn't. Yeah. And you sat there and said, well, case law indicates that uh, the exception of law in violation of the Policy Combatant Act is when the armed forces perform uh, tasks assigned to an organ of civil government. Mm -hmm. Now, these armed forces known as the United States military, Mm -hmm. if they were to perform the arresting of sheriffs and police officers when sheriffs and police officers won't arrest each other, yes. That would be in violation of the execution of the law known as Posse Comitas. Oh. But when the FBI doesn't arrest sheriffs and police officers for white-collar crimes known as civil rights violations, is it in violation of the Posse Comitas, yes, for the Army to arrest the FBI for refusing to arrest the sheriffs and the police officers? Oh. <laughs> Now, I think there are some individuals that the Army can arrest, yes, that happen to be civilian, yes, they might not be active duty, yeah, that are actually employed for the enforcement of the civil rights of American citizens. Now, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, yeah, they come to mind, and I I emailed every field office of the FBI. I think the Army can arrest the FBI. The FBI not arresting the sheriffs and the police departments. Oh, <laughs> then there's Homeland Security. Mm-hmm. I emailed every field office of Homeland Security. Yes, 
they said that they don't have to enforce the civil rights of American citizens. <clears throat> I think the Army can arrest the Homeland Security employees. So let's look at this. Case law indicates that the execution of the law, yes, in violation of the Posse Comet Act occurs uh -huh, when the armed forces perform tasks assigned to an organ of civil government. Mm -hmm. When I emailed the police department, my civil rights are being violated, and they say, well, we don't have to protect your right to due process. Your wife said you were crazy. <laughs> And I say, no, you do. And I don't have to do your mental health evaluations. And I don't have to allow your arbitrary involvement in my personal life. Yes, I think the FBI and Homeland Security can all go to prison. And maybe the Army and the Navy would like to use their troops, okay, to take them there. Pooch. Now, a civil government does not work. When the tasks assigned to those elected yes, and appointed to office mm -hmm. do not do the performance of their task, yes, known as the enforcement of the guarantees of the Constitution of the United States. Yeah. Now, B, mm -hmm. when the armed forces perform tasks assigned to them solely for purposes of civilian government, yeah. Now, I know. There is somebody that the army can arrest. Mm. Why don't you take, yes, all of those that have sworn ooh, to support and defend the Constitution of the respective states and the United States and have every soldier and every sailor call them up about the power of Congress ooh, to regulate land and naval forces. Okay. Mm. Now, the context of assistance to civilian police. Mm. I think the civilian police should go to prison, pooch. I think they should all be replaced, yes, and that we should employ some new police uh -huh, in the actual police departments. <laughs> now, for every police department that said the Army can't arrest me, your refusal to enforce the civil rights of American citizens because of your criminal assistance to police departments right now, I think they can. You understand? Seattle Police Department... I think the fucking army can arrest you for the criminal assistance of the Port Angeles Police Department. Now, for three years, I told you what the law says. And you said the army, the Navy, the Air Force, Marines, they can't be involved because they're regular military instead of National Guard. Mm -hmm. Now, you've all been scratching right now. Po, po, po. <laughs>